fall, everyone. It just seems like yesterday that we were out by the pool having our uh, summer picnic here. Uh, if you remember, I actually partnered with AQ Lighting and they sent me these gorgeous copper landscape lighting. And since we've had the lighting here, it has been wonderful because we don't have to depend on solar lights any longer, which are so unreliable. Uh, these are actually plugged in to a regular outlet at our house. Um, and what since we've had these, we've enjoyed them so much that I decided I wanted to add on. We have the three going up the sidewalk here, uh, and I just felt like it'd be wonderful to have them coming down the other side. The great thing about AQ Lighting is, is that uh, you can begin your project, and then if you decide that you want additional lighting, it is super easy to just add on to your existing plan. Okay, first of all, I wanted to share my box with you because one of the things that I love about the AQ lighting system is that everything that you need comes right in one box. Um, they give you a transformer that you can easily just plug into an outlet at your home and everything just hooks right into it. Uh, this time, we're adding on some additional lighting like these. So, they have sent me six more of these wonderful copper um, landscape lighting. And so, I'm going to just show you real quickly uh, what it all is in the box. Um, we have these, these will actually attach into um, the little stakes that go into the ground, and I'll show you how those work in a little bit. Uh, in addition, you also receive um, all the little connecting wires. These actually, all you have to do is just plug them into each other and twist and screw, and that attaches it to the light. How the little uh, lights come. Um, each one of them comes individually boxed, and um, you have all of the pieces that you need to put it together. So let's just, I'm going to quickly just show you how one of these goes together so simply. Um, there's not a lot of work to it whatsoever. Uh, the very first thing, let's see, let me get it all out. You also have your little uh, copper post here. So I want to get that out too. We don't want anything to get broken. You just take this little rubber cap off of here and then inside the box you also have your little bulbs, these little individual bulbs. So we're just, you, all you do is just find the little holes here where they fit and you just push that in. Then the next thing you want to do is add the bottom cap to it. And I'm sorry, I should have had these taken out. But you just push this right over the top and, and just gently screw it on. It's real, real easy. And then this is the part that covers the bulb. And um, these are all just wonderfully done. You just take that and you apply it. Get it straight and then just screw it down real quickly. It does, and your little copper cap fits right on top. Okay, so it's just real quick and easy. You just screw it until it's completely tightened down. And then that person can already see that these are new and these are starting to get that weathered look, which I love. Um, and then, like I said, what you're going to do is you're just going to take this piece and you're going to attach it in. Recommend going ahead and um, actually driving your stake down into the ground, at least the majority of the way in, before you actually screw this in because you don't want to damage um, your connection here. Leaving it, you want to leave it high enough up so that you can, you know, work this cord in. The cord just fits in between here and then these, they just quick and easily screw right in to the, um, to the stake. Okay, now we have all of our lights assembled, and what we have done is we've gone ahead and, and determined where each light is going to go. We have also already attached all of the um, 
wiring or cords to this so that we know um, that they're going to that everything is going to work out perfectly here. What we've done with the existing lighting that we had already installed back in the summer is we have gone in and connected into it with the cable so that now all the lights are going to run off of the same transformer. Another thing that we've done, because we're bringing this around the sidewalk, what we've done is we have actually gone ahead and buried the cable underneath the gravel here at the end of the sidewalk. So it's already um, attached. Every so now the next step is making sure that the lights are exactly where we want them. And we're gonna go ahead and start installing. We're ready now to install our copper lighting for along our sidewalk here. One of the things I'm gonna do with this board is I'm gonna just measure out exactly how far away from the sidewalk I want my um, light. So we're gonna go ahead and mark this area right here. And in order to kind of make sure that we can get down into the ground good, I'm gonna just use a little drill bit and kind of drill it down a little bit to begin with. Just to give it a good, good little start there because we have a lot of rock and we have a lot of roots around here so we want to get this started so we've got the hole started here and then I'm going to go ahead and begin to push the um, stake into the ground get as far as I can and then taking the same block of wood with a rubber mallet we're going to knock it down Okay, we've got it pretty much almost into the ground. We don't want to go too far because we've got to add the um, lighting. So what we're going to, okay, we're going to go ahead and slip the, um, the wire in first and then we're going to go ahead and screw this down. And it's just really that simple to install. Okay, and now I want to be sure that it's level. So I'm going to take my block and knock it just a little bit this way. It looks like it needs to go. Okay, that's the first one. Now we're going to be coming back over this with mulch to cover all up all the wiring and the end of the stake. So now we're ready to move on to. Okay, we have all the new lighting installed here on the outside of the sidewalk, and we still have to add some mulch here to uh, fill back in, but that's coming. And I cannot wait to turn the lights on tonight to see how it lights everything up here around the pool area. The timer worked perfectly and our lights came on right at dusk. I'm loving this warm glow that doesn't compete with our nature views here at the ponds. I'm going to give you a link to my website along with a link to AQ Lighting so that you have all the information you need uh, at your fingertips. Have a wonderful day.